In this video, we're going to get this dirt cheap RC buggy and we're going to try and make it go as fast as possible. I'm aiming for 100 mile an hour and in this video, we're going to see if we can pull it off but do it on the cheap. So standard, this can do around about 30 mile an hour so we've got a little bit of work to do. So to start off with, we're only going to use budget gear. So we've got this dirt cheap brushless motor and speed controller, metal gears, upgraded servo, and a new radio system. So if you want to know where we can get all this stuff from, there's going to be a link to all the parts used in this video down below. Oh, postman! So we're going to have a little look to see what's inside these parcels a bit later. So I've seen quite a few comments recently with people saying, Kev, I wish I had a bit of extra money so I can buy a few RC cars or buy a few upgrades. I might have found a solution. And I found this super duper crazy easy way that you can make yourself a little bit of extra cash on the side. I mean, you're not going to be a millionaire overnight, but it's going to help you pay for a few toys. It's basically a website where you get paid just to share your opinions. You go for you, answer, you fill in a few surveys, answer a few questions, then you can get paid out with Amazon gift cards or pay directly into your PayPal. This has got to be one of the easiest ways that you can make a bit of extra money from the comfort of your own home with a computer or with a laptop. You can do it while you're sitting there watching Netflix, you can do it while you're waiting for your buddies to show up. So click on the link down in the description and see how much money you can make. And I just want to say a massive thanks to Opinion Outposts for sponsoring today's video. So we're going to get all this, we're going to chuck it all in there, and then we're going to take it out for a rip and see how fast it goes. But we definitely want to get it to over 100 mile an hour. The Traxxas X01 is the world's fastest ready to run RC car. And this does 100 mile an hour out of the box. So to get this little nipper here, to go faster than that is going to be quite an achievement. All right, enough waffle, let's get wrenching and then we'll take it out for a rip. Uh, what the hell's all that? There's no grub screw in there. What the hell? How are we supposed to get that off of there then? So I was just about to cut the end of this off with an angle grinder. But then I remembered I've got another car similar. It's just a shorter wheelbase one. And this one here had a broken motor in it. So I took the motor out of this one and put the good motor from here into here. So now this one's working again. And now here we've got the broken motor. And on this one, we've got a grub screw. So I'll get the pinning off and use the motor mount to put into that one. Waffle, waffle, waffle. <laughs> Not really sure how that's held on there. I mean, by the looks of it, it's just a push fit. But for some reason, it won't pull off. So I think we're just going to leave the plastic spur gear in here for now. It probably should be all right. It's going to make the gears run a bit quieter. That's what I'm going to tell myself anyway. <laughs> So the reason for changing the servo is that this here is an all-in-one unit. It does the receiver and the speed controller. And the servo plugs directly into it, but this one here is a five-wire. Now, because we're going brushless, we need to fit a separate receiver. And when we fit a separate receiver, we need a standard three-wire servo. So I've got this servo here to try and make it fit in there. This one here is a little bit smaller than that one. So we're going to have to modify this mount to get this servo to fit. And also, I wanted a smaller servo anyway, just to give us a little bit more room just to mount all the electronics in there. I mean, the standard size servo will just about fit in there with this speed controller. But we never know in future, if we can't get 100 mile an hour out of this setup, I'm probably going to have to fit a bigger system. <laughs> Man, that little servo feels so lovely and smooth. So we've got a two-cell LiPo here. We're going to try it on that first. But 
We've also got a free cell lipo. That's going to make it go a lot faster. Oh, that servo's nice. And power. Whoa. Oh my God, guys, that is like almost no power at all. Look, watch. <laughs> guys, that's going to be mad on 3S. Oh, it's geared really high, which is good for speed, but not that good to get it off the line. Ready? Oh, ho, ho. I think we need to get it outside. All right, let's get these boxes cracked open. We got an armor granite four by four. You guys told me to get it, so I did. Next. Oh, look, spare parts. So new arms to fix the SMT hot glue bodge. New axles and a sway bar set for the axial rift. A replacement XLX2. Don't catch fire this time. I think this one here is actually from Martin. Some crate and A test parts. No idea what this is. If you know what it is, guys, let me know in the comments. 6S EXB parts. Don't need them yet, but it's always good to have some spare parts. So this in here is all my crate and 6S parts. Crate and A test parts. Slash 4x4. UDR. Blah, blah, blah. You get the picture. New knuckles for the Super Rock Ray. I'm a sent and free S4 before. You guys told me to get it, so I did. It's like Christmas every day. Ha ha ha! Check it out, guys. We have the lossy laser nut, and yes, you guys told me to get it, so I did. So there's going to be some videos playing with these very soon. And if there's any other cars that you want me to review, let me know in the comments down below. We've also got this monster truck build coming up very, very soon. So subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it. Another postman. We'll have a little look in here a bit later. Hey, Filming. Yeah. You're on YouTube. Hello. Hello. He's on YouTube. Hello. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. She is fast. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to have Friday off. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't tell the governor. No. Well, why are you off? Well, Kev ran me over. <laughs> We're going to have to do something with the tyres. Watching Drifter Maniacs, he put some foams on there, and now I can see why. <laughs> We've got to get over 100 mile an hour out of this. Hello. <laughs> it's only camera, it's not well, a gun. Point it at the car. All right, we're on location. We first of all, we're going to start off with a two cell light pole. We've got the GPS up on here, and then we're going to try it on the three cell. I'm guessing, what are you guessing is going to happen? I reckon it's going to be slow. I reckon the tyres are going to blow off. Do you reckon? I reckon on three, yes, the tyres are blowing off. It's, it's died already. <laughs> Guys, for some reason it's died. Don't know why. Let's have a look. I was going now. That's moving. Damn. What is it? Damn. 53. 53? Yeah. Oh, 53. All right. So 3S is going to do 70, isn't it? Could do. <laughs> 3S time. It's not even hot yet. So what was it up with it at the top then? I think it was side with gear. It was just cogging. Ah, uh, just needed a nudge. That's yeah, not no. bad for rubber tyres, though, is it? Nah, once we get them foams on there. You're not putting a 4S speed controller in it. I want to see how fast it can go on dirt cheap, and then we're going to really go for it. I can't find the hole. <laughs> Boom. So how fast do you reckon it's going to go? Oh, I reckon 65. And I reckon the I'm going to I'm gonna go 60, yeah, but I reckon yeah. it could do 70, but I reckon the tyres are going to either come off or it's going to crash. All right, let's go. Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's flat out. Is it? Yeah. It didn't look that quick, did it? Oh. I reckon 60. <laughs> da, 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 59! <laughs> Nearly 60. Guys, we're going to get some foam tyres on there and then we're going to see how fast it goes on there, but I reckon it needs more power. We're going to have to force it or something. Yeah. All right, let's have a look to see what we got in here. It's like Christmas every day. Oh, check it out. Oh, look, 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 look. <laughs> Guys. Yes! Look at that, I've got all these upgrades here from Trill. X-Max parts, a couple of servo savers for the lossy LMT. They've also sent me this prototype wheelie bar to put on there, so we're going to give that a blast as well. Yes! I can't wait, guys, and it's all going to come in the video very, very soon. So subscribe and smash the bell so that you don't miss it. And for now, I'll see you over on one of these videos here.